So I am responding to a comment on one of my recent videos with Flower Bomb edit fan art -y thing, um, this image anyway. And I'm uh, responding, they said about the image is already processed and that they want to see from the original, want to see the raw. Um, I have a feeling, I might be wrong, that they feel that the image was edited and processed a lot before getting to that point. Um, but very little was actually really done from it sort of being slap bang out of camera. Um, but I did do a little bit of color grading. I did a few little things, not a lot, really not a lot. Uh, I do tend to cover my color grading in quite a lot of my other videos. So uh, I haven't, didn't go into it for this one. I was going into how I did the edit and how we pumped up the image. Um, but let's have a look. Uh, let's see what's on it. So uh, if we go through and we turn the basic settings off, you can see the main thing that's being adjusted is the shadows because I lifted the shadows. I like them non-lifted, but I wanted quite a pastel effect for this particular image. Uh, if we then come down my color mixer, mixer, blah, blah, mixer HSL, uh, I had toned down the vibrance for quite a few um, of the colors. Uh, if I go on to saturation, you can see that was where I played. Uh, the hue sort of I moved around a little bit, um, but it looks much more complicated than that is. Uh, a lot of those sliders will be left there from where it wasn't really affecting the color and I'm just playing. Um, so it's probably not doing as much as it appears. And color grading is where I added in uh, the blues and the pinks into the highlights. So you can see in the shadows, we have deep blues. Uh, in the midtones, we have oranges. And in the highlights, we have ever so slight into the ready pink kind of tones to um, create that as a combination to create that kind of coral pinky kind of texture. Um, going over this now, I suppose it does look a bit more complicated, but there isn't uh, a great deal. I mean, if I turn it off and on, you can see that there's not a lot of processing that's been done. There's no masks, there's no shading, there's nothing detailed. It didn't take me very long to do these adjustments. Um, so not very much has been done at all uh, on it. Uh, so what I thought we would do is have a look at some uh, color grading for what I do for these sort of images. Now, for this shoe, I, this was exactly what I had in plan, what I had planned: coral, pastel, pinky, blues, baby blue-ish. I decided I liked it a bit deeper, but baby blue-ish kind of tones. But once I got processing. I soon saw that I liked this uh, warm yellowy green tone mixed with the cyan in the background. Uh, and I liked that well, equally as much because I kept both. So if I liked one more than the other, I would have got rid of it. But I felt that for the close ups and for this kind of dramatic scene, this was more impactful, more glossy. Uh, but for the pastel, almost more painterly, more fine art kind of stuff, that this one worked more. Uh, this one did sort of sit a lot better because this was almost more of a classical composition. Uh, so let's have a quick look. Uh, let me grab an image. Oh, I've, I've set this one on reset. You can see me clicking it. Um, that is exactly a shot. There is nothing changed, nothing done. It's reset. There's no crop. There's no nothing. Um, it's not even an image I chose or processed. So uh, nothing has been done to this whatsoever. Um, that is the complete raw. Uh, and First thing I do uh, with these is I play with my highlights and see what is affected and I play with my shadows and I see what is affected. Uh, and I usually end up lifting the shadows slightly. Uh, and more often than not, I shoot uh, very accurate, very correctly exposed. Um, so I either pump the highlights up because I want the face to be drawn a little bit more attention or I pull it down just to get a little bit more texture in the skin. But you're never going really more than the sort of 20 mark, I suppose not a lot it's not a lot so let's go from there uh, now let's go down to our color mixer and the reason you would have seen all my sliders all over the place was when I did my saturation I grabbed the little uh, adjustment circle thing I don't know what that's called color picker we'll go with color picker and I would have grabbed and you see as I move this up and down it's moving both the yellows and the greens so it's looking very complicated, like I was sliding the things everywhere, but actually I was picking the color through the color picker and it was moving whatever colors was involved within that. 
So I could choose all of these and up the vibrance to whichever ones I wanted to do the background. I might want to make that more vibrant. Um, and really, the only thing I aimed at doing was changing the background blue and toning the green down. That was my only goal. Uh, so if I go onto my hue, I then did the same thing with my color picker uh, and I played with the hue and I took it more towards the cyan and I just played with some of the other colors um, and saw where I could kind of get it and where I liked it. So that was kind of all that really happened within that. I might have played around a little bit um, just sort of neutralizing the skin tone, adding a little bit more yellows into the skin tone, uh, but not a lot would have gone into it. It's kind of more that because I do most of my work in the color grading. That's my fun play area. I love it. It's brilliant. So my mid-tones, I would have gone in straight into a blue. My mid-tones, my shadows, start on the right bit, straight into the blue. And what I do is I stick it on really deep and I move around and I see what I like. Now, I knew I wanted cyan kind of blue, so I'm going to go over to that. Now, I don't want it that intense. I'm going to slide it back down again. Now, we go over to the mid-tones. Don't try and adjust your layers, your levels of this until you've got all your colors in because you're just going to change it. Uh, I normally do just shadows and highlights. I leave the mid-tones. But in these images, I felt the mid-tones needed a bit of a kick too. So pull that up. You can see I've got the reds and the greens and it's moving around. So I went to the yellow tones and then pull that down. And then my highlights, we pull up and I went down to the pinky kind of tones and pull that down to get a bit of a coral kind of effect coming here. And now I can start playing with all of these. So my mid-tones is doing a lot of the skin. I'm going to push the luminance up of that a little bit and then pull the blue in. And I can kind of just play around from there. This is where I might go back and go, oh, okay, well, I'm going to pull my vibrance down a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to go pump my highlights up a bit more or pump them, take them down. Uh, and I'll play a lot more with what I want to do. I might play with my temperature, see what difference that might make. Uh, and a lot of it is quite literally just playing and seeing what is having the best effect. What what do I like the most? Yeah, let's pull that over. I'm doing the greens now, just moving these around. And just, yeah, seeing exactly what we like. So let's turn that on and off. Massively different on that one now. Now it's too much for me, it's a bit too intense but it's not miles away from where we went there. It's a bit contrasty for my liking. Um, so I'm going to pull that and pull that round and maybe play around with these a little bit more uh, and decide where I'm going to go with it. But that's how I do my color grading and I manually choose and pick and see with what feels right at the time. Uh, I don't do presets. I don't do anything where I tend to use the same thing because I never shoot the same thing twice. So it seems really daft to save a load of presets um, for any no reason in particular so that's how I do my color grading that's the sort of thing I do to play around and uh, see what color I like really so I hope that's been helpful I hope that clears a lot of things up um yep my images are processed from raw beforehand uh but they're not masked and like drastically changed it's color and global changes I don't tend to do a lot of masks I'm not against them I use masks a lot but um, I don't tend to do masks on every image all the time, custom to each thing. Uh, so I hope that helps. I hope that clears a lot of things up uh, and you will be able to see more of my color grading in other videos, uh, but you'll also always be able to see more on the website uh, and through my other channels too.